Welcome to the Business with Edo market wrap for the 24th of March 2017 of the European equity markets. Like and subscribe for more. In the European equity markets, stocks closed low on Friday with key with a key health care uh, bill vote in the US keeping investors on edge going into the weekend. Stocks Europe 600 f uh, lost 0.2% and Germany's DAX 30 index rose 0.2%, France's CAC 40 fell 0.2%, the UK FTSE index lost 0.1% and the, uh, however, Smith's Group PLC rose 2.9% of the engineering company said that its pre-tax profit had more than doubled in the first half thanks to some robust sales and profit coming from a disposal. Meanwhile, uh, Merck uh, Pharmaceuticals climbed 1.7% after the German drug, drug maker Roo received approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for its uh, Bavencio intravenous treatment. As far as the currency markets are concerned, the dollar steadied uh, near a four-month low against the yen on Friday ahead of the vote in Washington on the new health care legislation that some investors view as a litmus test of whether President Donald Trump will be able to f pass fiscal stimulus on through into the market. Against the Japanese yen, the dollar was up 0.14%, the euro gained 0.2% to, uh, to close at a seven-week peak against the dollar, and even touched $1.8.25 uh, on Wednesday on the view that the European Central Bank was heading towards a tightening of monetary policy amid the accelerating growth and inflation rates across the Eurozone. The dollar index was little changed at 99.732. In commodities markets, oil was little changed in thin trade on Friday, but prices remained on track for weekly losses of about 2% as concerns persisted over an excess of crude oil. The U.S. West Texas um, Intermediate Crude Futures went up three cents at 47.73 a barrel, and set to uh, for a more than two percent loss on the, on the week. Brent crude was down four cents at 50.54 and down two percent for the week. Spot gold was up 0.2 at one thousand two hundred forty-seven dollars sixty-five an ounce, and the metal has risen one point six percent this week, and on Thursday it touched at. 1,253.12, uh, the highest price since February the 28th. Silver was up 0.7%, platinum was 0.6% higher, and palladium was up 1.6%, giving it, having hit a two-year high point of $815.10 early in the session. As far as the U U.S. equity markets were concerned, stocks, stocks traded high on Friday as investors. Investors were waiting the outcome of the vote on the health care bill, seen as a test of uh, Donald Trump's ability to pass his legislative agenda through Congress. The Dow Jones industrial average was 0.19% higher, and uh, the S&P 500 was 0.31% higher. The Nasdaq Composite was up 0.58%, and seven of the 11 major S&P sectors were higher with the technology index sector 0.5% rise leading to leading the gainers. Micron technology dumped 9.9% a day after the chip makers current quarter revenue and profit forecast beat all expectations. Uh, GameStop however fell 11.7% after the company's full year profit forecast will fell well below estimates. In mar bond markets US treasuries were uh, steady on Friday as investors waited on the highly anticipated vote in Washington and uh, the benchmark 10-year notes were unchanged in price to uh, a 2.42% yield. The 10-year yields fell to 2.375% on Wednesday, their lowest rate since February the 28th. That brings me to the end of my market update on what's been happening on in Europe and, and, and across the pond. Be sure to like and share this video, post any comments, questions, criticisms that you may have in the comment section down below. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And last but by no means least, until the two of us meet again, try not to get yourselves lost or killed, and I'll see you next time.